Welcome to Advocacy Training for Community Health Workers, brought to you by the Community Health Impact Coalition and the Stanford Center for Health Education. My name is Sarah. I've worked as a community health worker in my township in the Western Cape of South Africa for five years, and I'm happy to be your guide through this course. So, why should CHWs learn about advocacy? For too long, conversations about community health have happened without us present. It's time for a change. As CHWs, we have a valuable perspective and unique understanding of the communities where we work. Advocacy and storytelling are tools we can use to make others aware of an issue and to call on them to take action. This training aims to equip you with the skills to have your voice heard on the global stage. We hope you take these messages to heart, become passionate advocates for your work, and join forces with fellow CHWs to raise the voices of CHWs around the world. As the saying goes, nothing about us without us. Now let's review the four goals for this course. The first goal is to introduce you to the history of community health so you're well informed as an advocate. The second goal is to teach you the basic steps involved in being an advocate. The third goal is to help you find your inner voice and use that inner voice to tell a personal story that inspires others to join you in a call for change. The fourth goal is to equip you with information about technology tools and how to take part in virtual meetings where you can apply your new advocacy skills. Our course has four modules that align with these goals. The first module covers the history of community health systems. You'll learn about the history of community health worker programs using examples from countries around the world. You'll also learn about important stakeholders in community health and some of the key questions that we need to ask in order to support CHWs and make programs more impactful. The second module is all about advocacy. Advocacy is the process of building support for a cause. You'll learn about a step-by-step -step process to becoming an advocate for your community and for CHWs like you. Our third module is about storytelling. We'll talk about building confidence and finding your voice to tell your truth and connect with your audience. By telling stories, we can inspire others to act and support issues we care about. Last but not least, the fourth module is about technology tools and how you can participate in virtual events where community health is being discussed. You'll learn about virtual meetings, how to join them, and how to ensure your voice is heard. The course itself consists of series of videos readings, and activities. Along the way, we'll ask you questions to help us understand your interest in taking the course, what you already know, and if you are learning the concepts covered. This helps us to better support your learning and improve the course for future learners. After you complete the course, you will receive a digital evidence of course completion from the Community Health Impact Coalition and the Stanford Center for Health Education. We hope that your interest in being an advocate will increase after this course. We invite you to check out our CHW Advocates website, www.chwadvocates.org, and sign up to connect with other CHW Advocates. We believe this training will equip you with skills and confidence to speak and or participate in future speaking events about community health. This is the start of your journey as a global CHW advocate. Remember, nothing about us without us.